we're going to edit this photograph from this to this while speed testing on one row on an external hard drive. Hi guys, Darren here from Emotive Training. Today I'm going to be processing some pictures through on one row. Now, um, this is a little bit of a speed test as well as processing and using presets as I'm running it from a USB 2 external drive. Now, I know a lot of guys do this, so I thought I'd show you how quick it is. Now, I don't know myself, this would be the first time I've tried it. I've allowed the pictures to generate its previews, if you like, um, so it should be reasonably quick. But I'm not expecting miracles because it is running off a USB 2 Drobo. So as we jump into the picture, the first thing we need to do is straighten it. You can see the horizon is not quite straight. So using the crop and at the top there's a level. And nice simple tool, just grab the horizon, release, and that automatically straightens the picture for you. Now on the right hand side there seems to be a shadow, I think the lens cover was probably slightly turned. So we can pull that in just slightly and there we go. Now we have this line in the top left hand corner which is distracting, we need to remove it. Now I normally use Photoshop for things like this but uh, they do have the tools in fo uh, Photo One Raw. So grab the tool, uh, size it with the brackets on your keyboard and simply swipe over the full length of what you want to remove. There we go, that's not too bad. There's still a couple of bits left. It's taken a few tries, guys, just to remove those items. There we go, that's not too bad a job. Now up here, there seems to be possibly a little watermark. Now, on to processing the picture. Uh, the exposure is reasonable. I don't want to touch that at the moment. Uh, contrast. Now, I usually adjust the contrast using the white and black because it's just more control. It doesn't do a terrible job using the contrast slider. So using the white and black sliders, we have full control over the contrast. There we go, I think acquire that. Now, the highlights, we could drag them back just a little bit. There we go. And with it being a scene, I am quite like the dramatic. So we, we just pump up the structure a little bit. And you can see in the foreground, the difference this is creating. It just pumps up the detail in the image. The colour isn't far off how I like it. Um, maybe just cool it down a little bit. There we go. And pump up the saturation just a touch. Now if you want to add just a little punch to the colour, raising the vibrance just adds that little bit extra. Now on the preset panel, there's a landscape section. Now clicking the section, you can bring all the photographs up so you can choose which one you like. Now there's all sorts of variants in here. Uh, I quite like the autumn one, that's given some nice tones, but you can still adjust the photograph. If we go in and we boost the shadows and we can bring out some more of the the hills and the trees but I don't think that's quite right for this photograph so let's have another look again clicking on the landscape brings in the left hand section and clicking on this icon here sets it to full screen now there's some really powerful photographs here in the landscape pop and you can see it, they're quite aggressive um, but let's just pick one uh, subtle sunshine now it's added quite a lot of uh, impact to the photograph. I think we should just bring out a little bit of detail and lower the highlights again, just to bring some detail back into the sky. And there we go. A quick, easy way to process the photograph. 
Now the whole time we've been doing these adjustments, it's been reasonably quick. And again, going back to, this is running off a USB 2 hard drive. Uh, I normally use a USB 3 hard drive, but I have this USB 2 just purely to back everything up on my uh, USB 3 hard drive. Now I took this photograph a few years ago and I processed it in a different way using Lightroom. And this is how I adjusted the other photograph. So you can see there's totally different feels to these photographs, but I think on one raw stacks up pretty well. Okay, and now for a little bit of speed testing. Remember, this is running off a USB 2 external hard drive. Uh, again, this is just for you guys who use your pictures this way and hold them off your computer. This is how quick they are. Now, I'm gonna just jump to a picture that I actually adjusted with Lightroom a couple of years back. And here we go. Now, I am expecting it to take longer than it is than being directly from your computer and it's the reason I move my pictures onto the computer to develop and purely use my externals as backups and archives. And once again, we're just going to visit the next picture and it's taking a little bit of time, but again, we're running off a USB 2 hard drive and so I'm, I'm quite impressed. So, I've just moved that file to my desktop just to see what's the speed difference between using on the USB 2 and also using on your actual computer. Here's the picture that we developed before and here's the speed difference using off your desktop. See it's a lot quicker, a lot quicker and that was moving from a NIF file to a previous, uh, previously edited TIFF file. Now, the pictures that haven't had any uh, adjustments done to are, again, pretty quick. So guys, big difference from where we started. And it was very quick, very simple to use. Again, on one row impresses me. This is a, a very usable program. So if you liked the video and it was of any help, please like, comment, and subscribe.